And it is amazing. A few years ago, he was building mobile homes in Alabama. Now he's a very popular figure in boxing. He really is. And you know, whatever you want to say about his abilities and the people he fights, the bottom line is Butterbean is a delightful guy. I've had a chance to spend a lot of time around him at various charity events. And uh, he's just a delightful man. Roberts feels the way to beat Butterbean, and it is the way, is if you can jab and give him some movement. Roberts, though, this is amazing, says he has not sparred in six months. No, he has been uh, knocked out of five of his last six fights, says Roberts. He has one round of boxing in his last 15 months. That was a January 16th knockout at the hands of the late Cody Koch on our show from Boise, Idaho. He ended up, I think he, he in the major uh, Tough Man contest, came in twice second, but was such a hit with the fans that, uh, you know, it was almost like he won. Now, Roberts is having a pretty good first round here. The king of the four rounders, and there are the numbers from round one, Al. Uh, good round for Roberts, as we said. A pretty big edge. Outlanding Butterbean by eight. So, in my mind, I had him at ten to nine. Nice right hand by Bean. That's the punch he's trying to get in, and that one... I think momentarily might have rocked Roberts. That one rocked him too. Kind of pushed him back at least. Troy Roberts is from Campbell River in British Columbia. About two hours north of Vancouver Island. He had to stop fishing because the sockeye and the herring were becoming extinct and they had to stop fishing for a year to allow that species to regenerate itself. Now there's Roberts, just a little movement and a jab is what he felt you need against Butterbean, and that is true. You can't jab and stand in one spot because he might get that overhand right in. There's the right, that's that's Butterbean's big weapon. This is what Butterbean wants to do and what he did a little bit less. There's a right hand that kind of grazed it and against these kinds of heavyweights and has gotten the job done. Oh, there's a lot of talent yeah, here. Got the hook in, so Butterbean's making a liar out of him. He's landing some good hooks. Now Roberts is in trouble because he's against in the corner there. He's got to get out of there, and he did that. Butterbean having a better second round for himself. Well, Butterbean, by his own admission, will tell you he's not a boxer. <laughs> Comes in to put on a show and brawl. And let's face it, back to Las Vegas after this timeout on ESPN 2's Friday Night Fights. Kind of knocked Roberts off balance, and there's one that's a little better. Yeah, it's Roberts in trouble. Leo Hooks is here. Roberts is real, and Roberts is out. Back to his feet, Joe Cortez, the count of three. Five, six, seven, eight. You okay to continue? All right. In the end of this bout, being with a uh, overhand right, and he landed a couple of really good ones there, and that one on the just on the ear where your equilibrium gets affected. Very one-dimensional attack, but it got the job done. All right, let's go. Here in round three. Butterbean again. Wow, even the forearm hurt Roberts. Oh, no, 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 Stoppage. The king of the four rounders keeps his title. 11 of 16 power shots in this round. There's the forearm you talked about. That's going to hurt. And this is when Roberts was in huge trouble and ultimately was sent to the canvas. Yeah, Joe Cortez stepped in and stopped it in round number three. For the official time of the stoppage, as we take one more look at Butterbean, again, closing it out. Roberts was hurt against the ropes. Joe Cortez steps in right here and stops it. 11 of 16 power shots in this round. There's the forearm you talked about. That's going to hurt. And this is when Roberts was in huge trouble and ultimately was sent to the canvas. Yeah, Joe Cortez stepped in and stopped it.